This is the tale of Bilbo Baggins, a hobbit with no idea of the adventures about to befall him or their consequences. My precious, it must know the way out! the trees. Hello everybody and welcome to The Hobbit, the prelude to The Lord of the Rings. Um, this is uh, obviously one of the instalments in the Lord of the Rings slash Middle Earth slash The Hobbit marathon thing. The uh, the Middle Earth marathon that we've got going. Um, and yeah, this uh, this was released in, uh, in 2003 and it was a game that I remember watching my brother play quite a lot when I was uh, younger. And Joel, uh, Joel remembers it fondly, he uh, played it a lot. And I'm just going to play through a couple of the missions on it, and um, and you know just have a bit of fun on it, and uh, hopefully you enjoy it. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to get straight into it, I suppose. In a hole in the ground, there lived a hobbit. Bilbo Baggins was a respected hobbit. He lived a comfortable life and never had any adventures. So Bilbo was rather surprised when Gandalf the wizard invited him on a great adventure. He politely declined. But not before accidentally inviting Gandalf to tea. The next day, Gandalf arrived with 13 hungry dwarves. They ate everything Bilbo had to offer, then sang sad songs and listened to their king, Thorin Oakenshield. At dawn, we begin the quest of Lonely Mountain. We will win back our ancient kingdom under the mountain, reclaim our treasure, and have revenge. On the cursed dragon Smaug. King Thorin, you need a burglar to steal into Lonely Mountain. Here he is, Bilbo Baggins. Huh? Oh. Excitable little fellow, but fierce as a dragon in a pinch. Okay, so Bilbo has just fainted, and this is the little tutorial bit. Um, it's going to take me quite a while, I'm assuming, to get used to the controls, because I had previously attempted to do this with my uh, my gamepad. However, that didn't work so well, so hopefully... Okay, so that seems simple enough. Okay, so that's jump. I will be back in a moment. I will just go and have a look at what the controls might be. Okay, so we're back and we're kind of making do a little bit. Um, I shall attempt to fight the legions of of huge. Well, I don't really know what they are actually, to be honest. They're like, I mean, they're not supposed to be goblins. I doubt they're orcs because. It wouldn't be that much bigger than Bilbo, unless it, this is supposed to be like, oh, it's a nightmare, so they seem much bigger than they actually are, or something, I don't know, but... Uh, yeah, I've, I've kind of possibly know what the controls are a bit now, so... I'm not as unsure as I was before, thankfully. Um, so I should be able to make do for, for the first couple levels. Um, and I apologise for the incessant clicking, if you can hear it, but there's not really anything that I can do. Um... So yeah, we're just going to make do. We're going to battle through and and uh, roll with the punches. Uh, so, yeah. Explosive arrows! Yeah! Okay, right, so. 
seeing as all of these elves and men are incompetent at killing these, uh, I'm just going to say goblins, just orcs, because it's what they kind of look like, and even though they're absolutely huge, that's probably what they are. So, um, oh, I don't really want to hit that, though. I probably could have actually used my, um, my stones and thrown them at the explosive barrels. I'm not sure whether that's actually something you can do um, in, in the dream uh, a bit. But there's these barrels here and I was just wondering whether you might be able to... Uh, it's possible you'll be able to use them to your advantage and uh, blow up these nasties. So we're going to see... Uh, right, so... What was equips? There, equip stones. There. Oh, you can! Oh, that's brilliant. Not that it really makes much of a difference to me right now, but, you know. Ah, <laughs> killing, killing orcs with stones, the joys of life. Um, okay, right, how do I re-equip Sting, then? So that's how to equip the walking stick. There we go, okay. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of it now. Uh, so we're getting towards the end of the dream level. Oh no, it's Bulg and his wog! Wakey, wakey, Bilbo. It was just a dream. Just a dream. But what an adventure. Despite his fear, something awoke within Bilbo. He wanted to visit distant lands, explore caves, and carry a sword instead of a walking stick. To his own astonishment, Bilbo agreed to go. Slept half the morning, Mr. Baggins. That won't convince Thorin that you're a fierce burglar. <laughs> I'll show him if I have to walk to the east of east and fight the wild wereworms in the last desert. For now, you'll just have to walk to the Green Dragon Inn. The dwarves are waiting. But get no time for it, and no time to pack. Just fetch your walking stick. Who knows where you will end up today? <laughs> okay, right, so. Tab is to access the quest log. Um, so we've got to find the walking stick and then go and meet the uh, Z dwarves. And I have no items at the moment. So, okay, right, let's go and find that chest then. Well, uh, as you pick up courage points, Bilbo's courage meter increases. Okay. I wonder where the chest could be. Oh, look, there's a chest. Oh, and what a surprise. It has my walking stick in it. Gandalf, I'm ready. Meet the dwarves at the Green Dragon Inn. Off you go. Okay, Mr. Gandalf. And it be my pleasure. Oh, what's this? My pocket has sprouted a hole. My pennies. The pennies must be scattered all over Hobbit. What am I going to do without my pennies? Oh, it's lovely, isn't it, being in the Shire, with all of the chickens and the flowers and the safe stations that don't look like they should be in Hobbiton at all. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, and there's diamonds everywhere. How lovely. Um, okay, so, uh, I'm assuming no one who's seen this, uh, no one who's watching this who is a subscriber uh, has ever played this game, because... Well, it's quite rare to meet people who've played this game, but essentially you get these quests and then there's always little side quests along uh, along the way as well. So, Exhibit A. Beautiful day, isn't it? Good day, Gamma. I seem to have lost my quilting needle somewhere in town. If you find it, could you please bring it to me? Certainly, Certainly Gamma. Gamma. Okay, so you get those people and then there's just random people that you can talk to. I can talk to this bloke here, but... He's not worth my time. Look at his derpy face. Um, so I'm going to speak to Hannah instead. Bilbo Baggins, I saw your visitor. Are you meddling with wizards? Wizards are meddling with me. Another lad going off into the blue for mad adventures. You might as well be some use before you go. Fetch my butter churn, please. Fetching butter churns, wizards meddling with him. How inappropriate for children. Okay, right, so let's go against Butter Churn for, uh, for Mrs. Hannah. 
Wow. Ha he sprung a hole in his pocket and he left three coins. No, more than three coins. Six coins on the floor in the corner of someone else's shed. Unlikely, I think. But, well, I am willing to go with it. This uh, this woman's rather lazy not being able to do, uh, do this herself. I don't think this would pass with... Uh, with feminists all over the place because like yeah it's, it says it's basically saying men are stronger thank you bilbo have some berry crumble tea cakes i made them fresh this morning oh and bilbo watch out for that mm -hmm. <laughs> watch out for that wizard he might meddle with you <laughs> going around the shire with these lovely, lovely graphics. There's something quite therapeutic about playing with uh, with older graphics. And, um, yeah, so I, I thought it would be fun to uh, revisit this uh, this game. The bridge is out. But I need to get to the other side. I could fix it, but I'll need my hammer in now. <laughs> Fetch me hammer. I saw Carl playing with it up by the waterfall. There are some jars in the mill. You'll have to break them open to get the mail. Bring back me hammer and nails and I'll fix the bridge. Okay, right, so let's go and get those uh go and get those nails. Because we need to get over to get to the uh get to the the inn. The green dragon. Right, so let's go. Get on the rope and then let's get out the walking stick and use that. Okay, so there we go. Wah! Nails. Nails. Nailed it! <laughs> this bit I struggled with for so long I remember I played it on my PS2 and um, it, yeah it's, it's a bit annoying really trying to jump up all these uh, all these bits but I believe what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to jump up here onto this and then onto these if I can try not to fall off that would be great there we go and now, you can grab this, which is the health potion, and get the hammer. Pardon me, Carl. Do you have your father's hammer? He needs it to fix the bridge. Here it is, Mr. Baggins. I'll have to find something else to play with. Good lad. This shouldn't take long. Damn. Well, that is efficient, dear me. He's a monster. He's totally broken and he's just gone through it like it's nothing. Anyway, right, so. Hello, Bilbo. We still need more oh, we need more supplies. <laughs> right, I'll be, uh, I'll, I'll get right to it then. Thanks for the advice. Sure, we'll have ourselves a little mini game over here. I believe if I speak to her. Then uh, we've got the chest behind, and there's a little lock picking game. I suppose I could go and open it for you, but um, I don't really like you very much, to be honest, so I might not. Brilliant! Spices! I like spices! Let's speak to old, uh, old Bomber. Oh, we still need more. Well, aren't you fat? Um. Good day to you, Mr. Baggins. Hello, Helman. <laughs> Hello, Helman. Who's there? Bilbo! Good morning, sir! You know, young Hilda was asking about old Vanderbross took again. Of course, she didn't call him Vanderbross. Oh, slept. Oh, no! I didn't save it! Oh, I'm such an idiot. Oh, why? Why did they not know about auto-saving in 2003? Anyway, now that we're back at the beginning, you've seen the game. I hope you've enjoyed. Goodbye.